My name is Ulrich Hoffmann and I will talk about enums in fourth and uh, best practice and some alternatives. Um, and uh, so let's have a look. So uh, enums in fourth, uh, we will look at ex explicit using uh, fourth phrases to do this without defining special words for it. And of course, we all know notation matters. Uh, we will look at nice syntax and give name for phrases and then see what uh, comes out of this. And uh, so let's see, why do you want to have enums in force or enums in general? Enumerations, uh, enums give names to values. Uh, so you don't have to remember all these uh, magic numbers. And as Nix pointed out in his talk, he doesn't like magic numbers. And I agree, I don't like them either. So um, yeah. Uh, why is uh, are magic numbers uh, difficult? They like to change. And um, so uh, changing them in your source code, uh, if they are spread all over the place, might impose uh, errors um, uh, and um, uh, yeah, um, which, which are hard to debug in the end. Or the numbers are different on a different system. So if you want to um, port your program to another system that happens to have uh, different values for these magic numbers, for the enums, then uh, you uh, uh, need to uh, change it uh, as well. So uh, the solution is to use constants uh, in one or the other way. And so what we can do, let's say we want to have an enum of colors, black, red, green, yellow, we can just go ahead and uh, define constants. So black becomes zero and so on. And then you can, uh, instead of the magic numbers, you can use uh, the appropriate enum names. So if you want to print out a color, you check for black, red, green, yellow and display the appropriate um, string uh, color name or, uh, uh, of the color. Yeah, right. And uh, so, uh, well, you can uh, do this uh, also in a different way. Maybe you don't, uh, if, if you want to insert an enum value in the middle, then it, you have to renumber the rest. So that might be um, not a good idea. So what you can do is use the uh, force interpreter to actually do the calculations for you. Uh, and you use a phrase, uh, you start with a zero, and then uh, you create the appropriate constant increment uh, enumeration value and so on. So you get a pattern like this uh, to actually uh, define the same constants as before. So we let the force auto interpreter do the calculation. And uh, the drawback here is that the dope and the one plus are in different parts. So uh, it might be nicer to combine them. So instead of dup constant x one plus, we say dup one plus swap constant x. Then all the calculation is in one place. And that's nice because then we can give it a name. Yeah. So if we go from a phrase uh, to a name, then uh, we, we can do it. So uh, if we do that, we can change this to uh, this. We just repeat dup one plus swap there. And we know if we have uh, repeated phrases, this might be a bad sign of factoring. So we better give it a name. So in this case, dup one plus swap. Uh, and there's a very common over plus swap uh, phrase that is typically named bounce, although not standardized. So um, yeah, we give it a name and maybe we call it Yota, we saw Yota already in uh, Bob Armstrong's talk uh, because that's the letter, uh, or, uh, the Greek letter Yota. Uh, that's what mathematicians uh, normally do if they want to uh, talk about uh, increasing sequences. So we use dup one plus swap and give it a name called Yota. And then we can use this pattern zero, Yota, constant black, and so on uh, to have the same thing. Uh, if you don't like, to one plus swap, you can use uh, locals if you want to, or you can use the operator under plus that increments uh, the second on stack. Uh, so uh, yeah, and um, well, we also in recent years talked about um, ASCII or Unicode for source code. So you can name Yota uh, also Yota if you want to um, and use the Unicode name for the fourth word. Well, and then may maybe it looks uh, already nice. Or 
Uh, well, now we can also combine yota and consent, maybe if you want to. Uh, so uh, you can say uh, enum is yota constant. And then you can define your enums with putting a zero on the stack, enum black, enum red, and so on to achieve the same effect. And this, uh, well, in the end, uh, if you look at Swift Force, you get um, uh, a definition of enum, which is dup constant one plus, which essentially is what I did, where the calculation of the enum is split again uh, around the constant because, because constant is inside that word. And if you look at VFX, notation matters, you get it in a syntax like this, enums, uh, curly braces, black, red, green, yellow, uh, to achieve the same effect. It defines uh, four constants, zero, one, two, three, uh, black, red, green, and yellow, uh, that you can use further on. And uh, that's my uh, lightning talk there, uh, or impromptu talk. Thank you very much for listening. Okay, that's uh, that's a point where we can do the cut, uh, or now we have the discussion. Please ask your questions. I see Anton uh, has raised his hand. Yeah, so just uh, comment. Um, one um, thing that surprised me, uh, if, if you don't care that the, um, that the values are starting at zero and consecutive, um, you can use variable to create a unique value. Mm -hmm. And so just um, variable a and you know that a gives a different value than uh, than the next variable yeah that's right you can even do just create because um, you don't need the value field that's the well theoretically two creates can can produce the same value. Uh, okay uh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i see mm -hmm. okay uh nick yes uh, unmute yourself please yeah i'm there um, my preference is always to a, a solution re which requires the absolute minimum of typing, particularly when there are long lists involved here. And so what I would really love to see in the standard is something similar to the VFX solution, uh, but without the commas necessary there. Um, I mean, the VFX solution is designed for um, header file um, import, basically. Yeah. Uh, so I'd like to see a fourth solution there uh, with no commas in the middle and free form so that you can put comments in after and describe each uh, enumeration value if you want to. Um, so love to see that in the standard if you ever get around to it, chaps. Okay, Bernd, please go ahead. Uh, the, for the first half of what Nick asked, I have a solution, I call it enums. Enums takes a number and calls enum said number of times, starting with zero. So you would say enums, black, red, green, yellow. But for the, uh, for the comments in between, I have no solutions yet. Maybe I need to add a bit code to see if the next token is backslash and then i just I call backslash and continue okay guys this is turning into quite a discussion and i think nick is really sitting on coals now <laughs> as we are so getting so close to stick now is it okay if we take the last two questions nick and then go hand over to you yep yeah that's okay fine, yeah. so uh steven and krishna please give your comments or questions well my my comment is really that as expected, um, the VFX version is, is designed to, to process C header files. And it actually turns out that it's basic, basically, if you ignore the C comments, it's basically as the cleanest solution to the, to the problem in terms, in terms of what you actually define. It has extensions that it allows you to define Find magenta equals 99 or something in the middle mm -hmm. which it, and when you actually go back especially into the embedded world this is this sort of this, accepting this sort of stuff is essential and i actually although i agree with nick's comments about uh 
not putting a, a comma or a semicolon at the end of definitions. It turns out to be essential if you are going to process C header files with a minimum amount of work. It is a, essentially a minimum solution, right. but it's it's focused as fully remarked on notation matters. Yeah. yeah. Well, with a just enum, you could just drop 10 and achieve uh, also other yes. things. Yeah, but uh, maybe that's a topic for future standardization. I think uh, sure. Nick brought a good point on that. And um, yeah, let's so, just so have, we all know how to do it. Let's just have Krishna's comment uh, because he raised his hand sure. some time ago. Okay, I, I think people have covered this, but the, uh, having done a lot of hardware interfacing and needing uh, a series of constants increase by one, I, it's very, it's necessary to have, be able to start at an arbitrary location, hmm. not just zero. Right. Yeah, which, which is easy. You can just put another number here uh, or drop and uh, start with another number. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for your talk, Uli. Um, can somebody please switch the presenter over to Nick? Nick, you certainly spark a lot of talks as answers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very very, very, very good job. Very good job. Oh, we enjoy your talks and we want to pay back. <laughs> yes. <laughs>